DJ. This is Wild Money Entertainment. And today, we are supposed to be taking a banana and polishing jewelry with it. However, the first time I put the banana peel, and you take your banana, cut both sides off, you cut it up, and you put it in the blender. However, my blender is either old or it's not strong enough, or maybe I should have used a bullet because if you look closely inside, it's not grinding up the banana peels like it should. So I went back on and did my research and they said that you could just take the banana peel itself and rub it on the jewelry. So this is what we're gonna do. So we'll be back once I get rid of this. Okay, stuff. We're back and I decided to just do the banana peel. So we're gonna pick open the banana peel. Peel the banana. And they say you use a yellow banana for this. And it should be just turning ripe. So this banana is just turning ripe. So it's a little thick. And then they say you take the sterling silver, let's move the banana out the way, and you rub it all on the sterling silver. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm rubbing it all on the sterling silver. And it's supposed to help the tarnishing. So I went and I picked up these bracelets that I haven't done anything with in a long time. And I think it would be easier to see if this really worked. I don't really believe that this works, but you never know. So I'm gonna rub the banana all on it, like they said, and make sure you coat it really good. So that's what I'm doing. And they said, take the toothbrush, put a little bit of water, and get into the details. So that's what I'm doing. This is little fishies on the end. So that's just a lot of detail. So I'm getting into the grooves, and I'm brushing it like this, all in the grooves. And I'm gonna do it to the rest of these. And I want you to get it up close so I'm going to lay them down so you can see how tarnished they really are. Let's move the banana out the way. And this is how tarnished that they really are. And I am going to continue to rub this all on and let it sit for five minutes. I'm going to do that to all the jury. Then we'll be back to see if it really made a change or not. We'll be back <laughs> with banana peels. <laughs> We're back. I waited five minutes and I took my bracelets and I rubbed it on the banana peel. And this is how the banana peel ends up looking after I rubbed it all on. And now I wanna again and give you up close on how much the banana peel did. Now this is the ones that the banana peel did. It is a little shiny compared to the ones that I didn't do at all. It's still tarnished really bad. However, there is certain spots on this bracelet that I don't think that you can see up close into detail that it still is tarnished. So this is what I'm gonna suggest. Does this work? Yes, it does. However, I don't think that it works for something that's been tarnished for a long period of time. And these bracelets has been tarnished for a long period of time. Um, but if you got something that's small and it's only been tarnished for a little bit or got a spot and you got a banana peel, I think it's perfect. If you got stolen silver and you want to shine it up and you don't have any jewelry cleaner, I think that's good because it's definitely shiny. Um... Do I see a difference? Yes, I do. Do I see a dramatic difference? Yes, because mine was really tarnished. So does this work? Yes, it can. So this is what I suggest. If you have a bullet or something that can grind down this banana peel with a little bit of water, use it as a paste, put it on your sterling silver, let it sit for a while, use the toothbrush, 
get into detail, it may work better. If you don't, or you like me, and you got an old uh, uh, blender, and you don't have a bullet, then you take the banana peel, you go ahead and rub it on, you let it sit for at least five minutes, you take your toothbrush, you go into detail, you get a rag, you buff it up, and you can still be looking good. It's smelling like bananas. <laughs> See you soon. Turn them lights up.